I felt led to make our new school year rich in cultural studies, learning about and celebrating together different world cultures. I wanted the study to fit with our favorite teaching philosophy that the environment is the curriculum. So, a little inspired by the Montessori method of the world continent boxes and a lot inspired by child-led learning, I put together this geography shelf for us to explore this year. My goal is to provide them with the opportunity to explore real things and weave in studies like geography, zoology, botany, physics, earth science, and social studies. In today's video, I'm going to share as much as I can about what's on our geography shelf. The world map is by Cavallini Paper Company. I hung up my husband's sombrero volteado, a traditional hat, and one of Colombia's most traditional symbols, along with two of our traditional bags or mochilas. I've displayed our national parks resources that we will continue to use and study through the year. I thrifted this wicker basket that resembles a suitcase and in it I'm storing our stamp collection that we get with our letters from afar subscription. The littles enjoy looking at them with our magnifying glass, sorting them and doing research about where they could have originated from. We are also collecting traditional artifacts or instruments from countries around the world to keep in our suitcase. And our favorite adventurer, Pippi, lives on the suitcase too. Jump the World by Sarah Pooley, stories, poems, and things to make and do from around the world. This is one of the resources we'll be using as, let's say, a tour guide. This book contains stories, poems, crafts, recipes from over 20 countries. I bought it on a Waldorf BST page a while ago and put it away uh, for my vision of this shelf, but I will try to find a copy and link it for you. And for now, I am storing our letters from afar, subscription letters uh, here in this basket. The kids love coming back to explore them from time to time. Uh, so this is the other resource that we are using as a guide. And I am going to share another video on how we use this subscription as our geography spine. So far we have two globes. The small one is from Target and the cork globe is a lot of fun and I found this one on Facebook Marketplace. We also have two world atlases and this is Maps by Alexandra Mizilinska. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this book is just beautiful. Uh, one of those you can't help but touching, maybe even sniffing. Uh, stunningly drawn illustrations of busy maps of uh, borders and cities. There are rivers, history, culture, events, people, animals, and plants. There's a newly released special edition featuring 16 more countries. And that is on my Christmas list for myself. And this is our second atlas, DK's first atlas, and I wanted one to be of actual photographs of the people, places, and animals, and this book delivers that. Another favorite is Children from Australia to Zimbabwe, a photographic journey around the world. My toddler's favorite resource while she's learning the world continents, the Melissa and Doug floor puzzle. This is a Wall Pops world dry erase map. It's meant to be a sticker or a decal, but we enjoy just bringing it out on the floor and marking places on the map. 
This is a rainforest poster by Rose Art. Now Bella and I work on it little by little. The flashcards strung on the wall are from Target Bullseye, beautiful flashcards of children from around the world, and the backside has uh, some reference info on the country. Moving on to our continent cubbies, now each cubby has reference books, picture books, workbooks, activity books, and fun hands-on resources. There are only seven world continents and so our eighth cubby is actually our world uh, cubby. It holds uh, worldwide resources and I'm going to fly through the flip through of these books otherwise this video will be about two hours long. I found these super neat uh, Nat Geo placemats at Dollar Tree and they're fun just to use as busy worksheets type of thing. And these Explore the World Around You My Story Blank Journal booklets are also from Dollar Tree. A continent's felt map from Target Bullseye for my toddler to match uh, the outline. It also does come with felt uh, continents. So this map is one of my favorite resources on the shelf and it's a leap frog interactive map of the world and it's double sided so it pairs with the leapfrog pen to play over 45 activities. And some of our hands-on activities in this cubby. Uh, this is a, a World Landmarks Memory Match game from Dollar Tree. More felt continents to go along with three-part cards for an object to picture match for my toddler. This is a stamp sorting activity I made a while back uh, for sorting by color or by continent. I printed these stamp images off of Google. I put together continent binders uh, for each continent to organize worksheets, coloring pages, and printables. Uh, so most of the printables in here are freebies. I've searched on sites like Teachers Pay Teachers, Education.com, and Pinterest. This is one of my kids' favorite puzzles, and this is the United States of America Melissa and Doug puzzle. Uh, and it's just been a great resource for them to learn states. 
and another one of those leapfrog interactive maps this one is of the united states and this is another felt map from target bullseye the kids have been pairing it with the melissa and doug puzzle pieces matching state to state uh, but it did uh, include these felt pieces of national landmarks to match to their respective state more hands-on resources uh, a puzzle i find those crazy art 60 piece puzzles at dollar tree uh, and these are flashcards of states and presidents from target bullseye our 50 states fandex family field guides and more picture books our antarctica cubby is a bit lackluster because i find that it has been the most difficult to uh, find resources or books about so putting together this cubby has required a bit more creativity this is a plastic organizer from Dollar Tree, and I put some loose parts and Safari LTD penguin tubes in it uh, for Play-Doh or sensory bins. I've created or found freebies of zoology cards, so species of seals and whales in Antarctica, uh, types of transportation on the continent, uh, photographs, and stamps and money. In our binder for the continent of Asia, I have Chinese New Year Festival Guide by Hearth Magic. Uh, so just a mini study uh, on the Chinese New Year with recipes and activities and crafts. And these are freebie zoology three-part cards that I still need to cut. My teenagers are making around the world trivia cards inspired by the Professor Noggins games as part of a big geography project. Chinese basic words language flashcards are from Target Bullseye. These are German family flashcards and color names flashcards from Hearth Magic. these printables of paper dolls from around the world in all of our binders and these are from education.com and more resources from hearth magic this is an irish folktale and a mini scandinavian christmas unit also from hearth magic uh, that we loved uh, and enjoyed so much last christmas So our South America cubby looks to be uh, heavy on zoology and rainforest resources.
This giant Spanish workbook was sent to us by family uh, from Colombia for my soon-to-be preschooler. I came across this really fun board game on Amazon and I already shared details in a haul video so I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it yet. And our Africa binder is filled with more beautiful hearth magic resources and guides that I'm excited to dive into, like this Wangari Maathai mini guide and an introduction to African folk tales by Hearth Magic. Also from Hearth Magic is this neat uh, download activity uh, set on hieroglyphics. So again, be sure to always check the description box of my videos. I'm usually pretty good with sharing links for you and I'll do the same today. Also, stay tuned for the video on how we implement these resources and study geography. So subscribe if you haven't so you can be notified of future videos and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. My family wishes yours a healthy and fun-filled new school year. I'd love to hear which subjects or what studies you're most excited learning about alongside your children this year. As for me, I think it's clear to say that it's studying, traveling, and exploring the world through books.